Yo, hey, what's up, everybody? It's Master Modding Vids. Yes, I know I have not made a new YouTube video in a long time, but um, here I am. Um, today's tutorial is how to get the new Xbox dashboard update. Um, I will be showing my Xbox for this also. Um, but this is what you're gonna get. The download link will be in the description, and you'll get something like this. You're gonna need WinRAR, so I guess I'll also put that in the description. And all you're gonna do is, um, you're gonna get the WinRAR. It should look something like this. Beta. It's not the full version. And just putting this out here, you cannot play online till December 6th. Um, I decided to do this now because, um, with school, um, happening right now. I'm not going to be on Xbox for a while, so I just don't have time with all the homework I got and everything and being outside. So, um, yeah, I, it's pretty cool though, um, just looking at it because it's pretty awesome. But this is what you do. You're going to right click on this and hit extract here. And you should get a folder that looks like this. It says system update. Go ahead and open up your USB that's in here and drag it in. And of course, I do not have enough disk space. The way to fix that with mine, I might have to pause the video real quick, but I'll be right back. Alright. I don't know why it does that. I have plenty of memory, it just does that with me. Alright, I just gotta delete this and then go back and then go to my Xbox. Um, you have to have more than, I think, 4 gigabytes on your flash drive at least four gigabytes for it to work. I'll be right back. I just made it to four gigabytes, but um, I think this is only like 11. Um, 11 something. Something. I don't know. I'm not that techie. Okay, I'll be right back. Just let me pause the video. Okay, I got it working again. I just had to reconfigure my device because my device just perfectly made it and some reason reconfiguring it always makes it work okay so all you're gonna do now is drag this system update thing into your um, USB stick you open it up there's the update um, this is for the new dashboard if you were wondering um, so I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this and I'll see you at my Xbox Okay, I'm now at my Xbox. I gotta make this quick. Um, yes, I'm recording from my phone and it's charging, but I might run out of memory because I got so much stuff. But, um, see, there, it looks not that much different except I have the Google Cloud up there. Save games. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and take the flash drive, and uh, I'll show you what would happen, but nothing should happen for mine since I already have mine updated, which I'll show you in a minute. So go ahead and plug in your flash drive, which I'm doing right now. It's going to load. And there you go. Um, what should happen though, like a, a few seconds, it should pull up for you guys. Update is available. Would you like to update or restart your system after that? It's not going to take forever like all the usual updates. It should just take like a second. It'll just say extracting or unarchiving. Um, so yeah, um, that one's done. It will not allow you to connect to Xbox Live until the actual release date, which is December 6th. So, um, don't start to cry if you want to. I don't really care if I don't get online, but they added a few things. Now, it says My Games instead. It says Xbox Home. And you go home, and this is how it looks. Um, you, you can't, everything basically works. This is the, all your games and everything that you can do. Um, you got your regular background still, the Xbox basics, networks, you got social. You can go to your friends, it's got social apps, which is like the Facebook, Twitter, and all that. Um, you cannot go to it without being signed in. And it'll just say that until the 6th, so... Um, next you got video, which you can do video apps, which has now got actually the app marketplace, which you can go right here, but you have to be signed in, which you can get Netflix, 
YouTube, live TV. I'm not sure if that costs money yet. You got the game marketplace like usual and everything. The music marketplace, app marketplace this time. Which is like Facebook and all that, which it says all right there. Settings. Your regular old settings, turn off, everything. Pretty cool. Um, background is pretty easy to change, I'm pretty sure. I changed this at my, when I had my old theme. I'm pretty sure you cannot switch back. I've been trying because I wanted to play online earlier. I said, whatever. Um, I think to change your theme, you just go to preferences. No. Okay. No. Um, I'm not sure how to work all this yet. I'm not a pro at this yet, so... Um, I'm guessing it's in here somewhere. I'm not sure how to use it, but it's pretty sick. If you would like it, um, just download the link in the description and do everything what I just said. And this could be yours. This is no freaking scam. This is my account. Okay, sorry that it just cut off when I said, um, seriously, this is my account. It's because it kind of my memory got full because I was only able to hold that much left but um yeah that's it um link will be in the description it'll get you this winrar you need to have winrar which will be in the description and yeah just follow my steps and everything remember you cannot get um onto xbox live don't even try because you don't want to take the chance of it won't let you update on the 6th so um don't mess with anything just remember it won't let you until the 6th which is the official up update time if you don't believe me and you don't want to do this because you don't believe me go look it up they have it all over e3 and xbox.com um so stay tuned i'll be making more videos hopefully um tomorrow and um yeah hope you like it